Hello and welcome to Inside Katsina on Trust TV. I am Ibrahim Yusuf. Now, agricultural restoration and upliftment is one of the cardinal objectives of the Katsina state government under the administration of Governor Aminu Bella Masari. And despite numerous challenges, insecurity being the major one, giant strides have been made in the area of boosting the agricultural sector in the state. Now, we sat down with Dr. Aminu Waziri, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Agriculture and Natural Resources, Katsina State, to gain insights as to how these successes were achieved. He begins by giving us an overview of the ministry and the workings of its various departments and agencies and how they function in helping the ministry attain its objectives. Let's take a look. Uh, you see, just as the name implies, you cannot uh, miss out uh, Ministry of Agri, uh, as far as a layman perspective of uh, what the ministry does, well, we are fully in charge of providing enabling environment for productive agricultural performance across the state. Uh, as a ministry, we have eight departments out, out of which we have uh, uh, four specialized departments that support the f core functions of the ministry. And of course we have an implementing agency uh, that after policy formulations, activities kicked up from the ministry or as it comes from other international donor agencies and our support partners across the globe, uh, we do utilize Katarda, Kasena Agricultural Development Authority. Uh, it's one of the parastata that is key to the implementation of our core functions. We equally have uh, what we call fast cut. Uh, it's a farmer supply company. Farmer supply company is an integral part of Ministry of Agriculture and Natural Resources and they basically focus on fertilizer sourcing in form of intervention reaching out to producers, reaching out to farmers you know, uh, selling to them in a subsidized prices, as well as pesticides and other form of chemicals that are used in agricultural services. And of course, we have uh, uh, Kasena Agricultural uh, Project Unit uh, that is under directly under uh, forest, uh, I mean, forestry department. Then we have the FADAMA, popularly known uh, FADAMA uh, program, which of course it advances and continue to transmute into other names. But uh, the household name today is uh, FADAMA, is equally an offshoot uh, from uh, Katarda. And uh, recently, uh, we do have uh, other programs uh, that, uh, like IFAD, uh, CASP, etc., etc. All are units and departments uh, that actually support our core functions as a ministry. You see, the whole idea of uh, uh, this government, uh, Governor Masari's administration, and uh, revitalization of agri sector is actually encapsulated into the popular restoration agenda as you rightly observed. Uh, yes, uh, you can see clearly uh, in, uh, by my side there is a sign that guide us on what the restoration agenda hold for us and for the state and for the teaming farming community in Katsina State. What we met when we came on board was uh, a sort of business as usual, 
in the agri in the ag uh, agricultural sector. I, I mean, what I mean by business as usual, you see, the whole idea is the conventional way of doing agri or agri services. Uh, a place, an acre of farmland that is supposed to provide not less than 13, 15,000 metric tons of grains is given out one, two metric tons. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an issue for us to digest and find out what is really going on. So that is part of why the Kazena restoration agenda the agricultural component of the restoration agenda has to actually digest and analyze issues like that. We met a situation whereby an expatriate organization is giving out a whole lot of capital investment made by the state to such expatriates to manage mm. under normal circumstances. I'm trying to refer you to the Shanghai yeah, yeah, yeah. Agricultural okay. uh, Initiatives and uh, what have you. But then, what is most important for a common man is the result. When you invest heavily in agriculture, the justification for that investment is the result. If I'm investing and I'm not getting the commensurate output, then that means something is wrong somewhere. That's why when I started, I say, we're looking at situation beyond normal conventional way of agricultural services and of course we said no uh, we have to really look at the best way to go about by this investment i mean with this investment the best is to deregulate mm. bring in private investors let them run the investment because we so much believe that if government should invest so much in certain enterprise, then government shouldn't have any business in getting too much involved in that business. Allow the business sector <coughs> to do the business yeah. and let them pay an aspect of their profit as rent to the government. So that is it. Otherwise, the government will continue to pump money in and out and without the commensurate return. And of course, uh, uh, when we came, the idea of restoration is to restore hope and confidence of our teeming farming communities to the extent that they could own, they could farm, you know, they could harvest, and they could earn a living from what is generally believed that is this our sole means of livelihood in Kazana State. And when you look at most of these items mm -hmm. as scheduled or encapsulated onto the document directing or guiding the agricultural sector of restoration agenda, you will agree with me that uh, most of this component had been dealt with clearly. So that was what we met. And uh, uh, we have started 
with a very, very fantastic gear. And of course, uh, we can felt the pulse, the result. And we are still not very much satisfied because uh, we are not yet there. But definitely with the momentum with which we are addressing most of these issues that we believe they are the key issues revolving around agricultural services in Kazan State, we shall get there. Definitely, no meaningful development can be achieved in any sector without the required investment on one part. And the guarantee of return on investment makes all efforts worthwhile. Such has been the approach when it comes to the methods employed by the Kazan State Ministry of Agriculture to ensure agriculture is restored to its past glory. We'll take a break now, and when we return, Inside Katsana continues. Stay with us. Welcome back. It's still Inside Katsana on Trust TV. And we're in conversation with Dr. Aminu Waziri, the Permanent Secretary, Katsana State Ministry of Agriculture and Natural Resources. Now, sustainability is the cornerstone of any meaningful development. And we asked the Permanent Secretary what his views are concerning continuity in terms of inherited policies and programs. Uh, we try as much as possible to toy in the line of the agricultural restoration component, uh, uh, we expect to continue from where our predecessors stopped. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we have met uh, a lot of projects, mm -hmm. some completed, mm -hmm. some ongoing, some about to, to commence. And we are working around the clock. Mm -hmm. 
because that was our accord with the teeming masses in Kasana State to make things happen within the agricultural sector. And uh, believe you me, uh, we are making things happen. Uh, let me just briefly maybe review okay. some of the activities uh, so far. You see, there is this issue of Caspa, uh, Kasana, agricultural uh, product, I mean, uh, platform mm -hmm. that is being under construction. The construction aspect, you can see the structure outside here, but the construction component of it is just, uh, uh, is, is, it constitute about 40% of 40% of the whole project. Mm -hmm. And as of today, we are more than 80%. 80% in the sense that most of the computers the, and equipment that is required for this project, they are on ground. So we have a target of uh, December to complete and commission it by God's grace. It's, 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 no, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a platform that, uh, you know, bring real online farmers on board. Uh, it is 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 what do you call a, an ICT driven platform that will harness what we have our farming communities and their need vis a vis the state and the national requirement so that you can easily give out bring intervention mm -hmm. to these farmers and monitor. What you are doing, what they are doing, and of course can project your output. So it's something that you can comfortably engage farmers online. When I say farmers, I mean the com complete agricultural value chain come in totality. So believe you me, by the time we commission this this project within the next one year, you will see complete different from what has been done because uh, the whole world is going digital uh, agricultural sector inclusive so we cannot afford to be left behind in this uh, in this direction another thing we observed that uh, uh, part of the southern kasena mm -hmm. uh, uh, like in danja and other local government around and the, where you have a lot of uh, uh, large expanse land of Fadama, uh, they produce excess tomatoes. And you will notice that uh, most at times, more than 60, 70 percent of these tomatoes are being uh, locally dried because it outweighs our consumption capacity, outweigh the one that can be transported internally, like to areas in the south west and southeastern Nigeria. The only option left so as to boost the capacity of this farm, to boost their economic fortune, not allow these tomatoes being produced to be wasted, is to have a solution. Mm -hmm. That solution <coughs> should be a form of factory that, you know, absorb the excess tomatoes being harvested for the purposes of transforming it into a paste that can be used throughout there. So the, it was a fantastic idea and part of the restoration agenda. As of today, maybe when we are done, I will take you around my phone to inspect the progress of that uh, factory. The, okay. the structure, we have this factory in Kakumi, in Anja local government. Uh, you can, I, I, I invite you to have a stop over and look at it whenever you're passing by to Zaria, Kaduna, Abuja, or anywhere. The, this factory is the idea of that is to absorb the excess tomatoes being harvested in that area and process it, transform it into a paste 
that will be for the general use for a, at a commercial quantity so as to you know improve the economic fortune of the farmers there uh, the structures the structure is 100% uh, completed we are now in the second stage of manufacturing the main factory line for the processing of these uh, uh, tomatoes. Uh, and I believe based on the Gantt chart, we have the project timeline. Uh, uh, we are expected to complete test run and train those who will man the place uh, by on or before the end of November. So hopefully by first or second week of December, we should be on our way to Kakumi to commission this uh, all important uh, and history making project. And of course, what we may eventually do is to ensure that the community there on the project, what I'm saying by community, they could form themselves into an association that will run and manage the place. So that even if you have excess of one bag of tomatoes, you can process it, package it, and get your income neatly. So the community will own it. The association eventually will own it, courtesy of the state government. And that is the second aspect. Then we are presently undertaking piece one of major and minor rehabilitations of irrigation canals across the state. We have 32 irrigation schemes in Kasana State, out of which we have so far in our first phase identified uh, about eight of these irrigation canals that are actually been uh, damaged over a period of time. We are almost 80% completed. In, in fact, uh, we started about a month ago uh, when I just, uh, when I was just uh, like four weeks old as a permanent secretary. And uh, believe you me, uh, as at today, the Director of Irrigation and Engineering Services were at various sites to inspect uh, completion. And I myself was in various sites, especially a Gangara Irrigation Scheme. Uh, in Malumfashi local government, Merua irrigation scheme, in Funtua local government, I, I visited and personally inspected work progress. They are done with those two, and we are now focusing on the one on uh, Tabo B, uh, Songkaya, uh, we have one in Dusama local government, Mashi, uh, Daura, and Kankia local government. A total of about eight irrigation schemes under the phase one of rehabilitation of irrigation canals in Kasana State. The idea is since the state government normally give out fund to power generator, generators actually station in these irrigation schemes year in, year out. Government give out diesel service these generators in order to facilitate irrigation uh, services, irrigation farming, dry season farming. So we appreciate the need to rehabilitate those canals for optimum irrigation performance. And that is what we are doing as of today. And like I said earlier on, within the next five this we should be done with the phase one of the canals rehabilitation then we begin to arrange to submit for the second piece and we shall continue to do that until we cover our 32 schemes both the abandoned and the active ones so that the 2022-2023 irrigation i mean dry season of farming will be entirely different from what was obtained in the previous 
Yeah. Uh, let me let me tell you something. Do you have an understanding of what a basic and no an ordinary dry season farmer needs? What he needs one is the land water and perhaps seedlings and chemicals give him that you done with him so what we're saying is this like let me give you an example of gangara irrigation scheme we have not less than 400 dry season farmers that participate year in year out in that scheme not less than 400 from at least at least 10 10 communities so by rehabilitating the canals by pumping water through the pipe onto the canals and spraying onto the land for irrigation you are done with them it boosts their economic fortune year in year out and reduces any form of poverty that could threaten the community and of course it reduces rural urban migration those guys that normally shuttles uh, lagos abuja uh, you, uh, i mean uh, using uh, motorcycle as means of primary means of livelihood will prefer to stay home and get in, engaged and involved in dry season farming provided that the land water an aspect of seedling is provided for them. And that's what we are doing. Creating an enabling environment to encourage participation in agricultural activities is without doubt one of the most effective ways of promoting agriculture as a sustainable means of livelihood for all those involved. And the Katsuna State Government, under the leadership of Governor Aminu Bella Mosari, is well on its way to achieving that monumental feat for the people of Katsuna State. Now, this is where we draw the curtain on Inside Katsuna for this week. Join us again next time as we x-ray another sector being impacted by the restoration agenda of His Excellency Governor Aminu Bella Mosari. Until then, I am Ibrahim Yusuf. Thanks for watching.